What's up you guys, it's Marissa from Push Pass Paralysis, back with another video. Today I want to talk about using the disabled card. Now, I had had this topic in my notes for a very long time, but it took a completely different turn. If it means, like, getting to a front of a line or something like that, yeah, I'm going to use my disability. But I'm not going to ever use it to play a victim or to make somebody else look terrible. Now the reason for this video is because Nick Carter was accused of rape. Now you may remember he had a previous accuser several years ago. This is a new one. But she's somebody who has been around for uh, over two decades, which we'll get into. And the reason that this is pertinent for this channel is because she has CP and autism. I saw her press conference. She is functional. Um, but it does give a different angle to this story. And it's an angle that I feel I could speak up on and weigh in on. So I'm going to. One thing that drives me nuts over the last several years is this fight for equality. To me, it seems like you're fighting for favoritism and exemption because fighting for true equality is being treated exactly like everybody else. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to poke holes in this story like I would anybody else, ask the same questions like I would anybody else. And I think everybody deserves that. She put herself out there on TV or somebody manipulated her into being on TV and pushing this story, which we'll also get into. But she's out there and you're not bullying her by asking questions or for clarification or catching her in a contradictory statement or lie. She's a big girl that wanted to be out there or was put out there. Well, she deserves the same scrutiny as anybody else would have. So I feel like the only reason this story has gained the traction that it has to the point where the boys are getting canceled for certain Christmas appearances is because of the disability card. I will flat out tell you that this story would not have the traction that it did if not for the disabled angle. And she knew that. And her people knew that. People get very funny when it comes to disabilities. Not like funny haha. Like they get uncomfortable. And then they automatically get sympathetic and look at somebody like an innocent person victim I hate that word but they do and that's unfair to the strong disabled person who would never pull something like this I personally feel like Nick Carter is innocent and he is the victim of lies and manipulation and I'll say it of feminism now I'm not going to go too deep into this part of what she said, but she claims that I think it was the bus that she was in and that he offered her alcohol, but she chose apple juice. Now, if my math is correct, she had to have been 17-ish when this alleged incident happened, which, by the way, the, her side is very sloppy with their legal language. They're saying this is if it's automatically all true, but that's another story. Um, I'm not buying the apple juice thing. Might buy it if it was like soda or something, but apple juice, really? Not only do I not believe that, but like, like he just had that on hand to give her. This was over 20 years ago. He didn't have kids. Bailey wasn't even born yet. Isn't he 18? Yeah. 
There's no way apple juice was on that bus or wherever this alleged incident happened. So as I said before, I do think that she's being manipulated and so does Nick's legal team and I'm glad. Because if disabled people, if mentally disabled people or cognitively disabled people are in any way vulnerable or victims in anything, it is being manipulated. So somebody could be having her do their dirty work for them, giving her hell of acting classes. Did you see that press conference? My money is on his first accuser or on the alleged victim's family wanting a quick buck. Because if you notice, they're only suing for money. And after all this time. Like, I could see waiting a little bit, but Me Too was hot a few years ago when she wrote a blog and was sending people DMs that none of this was true when the first incident happened. With his first alleged victim. So she was saying back then that he was just mean to her. Which I could see if somebody had a mean streak in them. If you're broken hearted that your favorite heartthrob like, was mean to you. The in thing to do now is to accuse a man of rape. So that's seeming like the angle that this is taking to me. I'm entitled to my opinion. This is my platform. You don't like it? Don't watch. But that does seem like the most likely case is that she... Because it's in writing. Screenshots are forever. I don't care what she deletes. People have it. The proof that she said he never touched her. He was just mean to her. Moving on. Oh, and then after that... She's now claiming she didn't remember, or or before this, in between the he didn't do anything to me and the now he raped me or assaulted me, in between that was I don't remember. Now, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I understand in trauma, sometimes you don't remember things. But after 20 years... Knowing you're not really going to remember anything. I just. I find it very unfair. To automatically. Side with the victim. And have. Feelings over facts. It's just. It's very. In court. It's. Incumbent upon you. To prove your case. And the only proof I'm seeing so far is this person telling people that he didn't do anything to her. Other than that, what I thought of the press conference was, was that it looked staged and rehearsed and very over dramatic. And I will end on this. I have one question. Nick, I have been coming to see you since 2001. Why didn't you tell me you had a thing for disabled people? I would have said yes. No, I'm kidding. So, that's that's my feelings on this and my thoughts on this because I don't want to just go on my own. My heart tells me Nick is innocent. No, there's holes all over the story. He's innocent and I hope that this doesn't tarnish him or the group too much just based on hearsay and on nothing. On a disabled alleged victim... And that that everybody's just going to believe her because of that. I'm seeing a lot of people aren't. So maybe the heyday of Me Too is over. Which is a shame. Because there are real victims. I think that the movement was started for a good reason and a good cause. But too many people are taking advantage of it. And it's making men be treated extremely unfairly. So that's my thoughts. Take it or leave it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. And I will see you guys next time.